Hello folks and welcome to an inkdependence.com brief video review and water drop test. Today, Franklin Christoph's Franklin Green. That's uh, good old Franklin there. Uh, this was made specifically for the 2016 Philadelphia Pen Show, as it says there across the top. Uh, this is a limited edition ink, so it is a little bit hard to get to, uh, get your hands on. But if you do have a chance to get your hands on some of this ink, uh, my advice is to do that. And you'll see here, uh, see why here in a few minutes. So uh, this is uh, an ink that's kind of hard to get your hands on, but I did manage to get my hands on a bottle uh, that, uh, you know, I don't know, didn't get sold at the uh, the pen show. Uh, this was not a free sample or anything, but uh, I did get the whole bottle, so I'm psyched about that. I'm even more psyched that it's actually as good as it is because I had no idea if it was going to be. Uh, since I didn't get to go to the pen show, I didn't get to uh, test this out before I saw it. But uh, nonetheless, I have this in three pens currently. This is this is one. This is, the uh, of course, the Twisby Eco. This is a fine nib on here. This is a uh, Faber-Castell E-Motion with that beautiful pear wood barrel. And this one is a uh, Keras Customs uh, Fountain K. And uh, these are in fine, medium, and broad nibs, just to do all three. Actually, I didn't plan on putting this in as many nibs as I did, but I put it in this one first, and I liked it so much that I put it in this one. Then I was like, hey, I wonder what a uh, smaller, drier nib might look like with this ink. And so I put it in this one. Well, the answer is they all look pretty darn good. So uh, here, of course, is the swatch, uh, sort of smeary type thing. And you can see as I tilt it in the light there, there's no real sheen on this or anything. There's a little bit, well, no, I'm going to say there's no sheen on here really at all. There is a little bit of shading. You get this on Rhodia. You don't really see it anywhere else, which is not super surprising. That's the way it goes most of the times with these inks. Um, and then if you look here at the uh, little writing samples here, let's see, I'll zoom in for you. There you go. That'll do it. Um, you can tell that it's far darker in this broad nib, but this is a very wet broad nib on this pen. Let me uh, open it up right quick. There you go. That's that broad nib. Uh, it's a Schmidt nib, I believe, on this one. It's quite broad. They've since redesigned the uh, the Fountain K. I got the first edition one. I don't know what the next ones are really like, but uh, this is a pretty cool pen. Uh, anyway, uh, let's see what else. Ah, so reasons to get this uh, this ink. It does perform super well on uh, papers. Well, super well. I don't know. Very well. We'll say that because uh, here. Let's see. There you go. You'll see. There's not really any. Uh, Let's zoom in here. Not really any feathering or spreading. There's a little bit of spread probably from this one. But as I said, it's a very broad nib. Uh, flipping it over, you can see that, oh, you can only see that little bit. There you go, let's do this. Uh, the sun is shifting as we sit here and talk, so you can see the line here from the shadow at my window. Anyway, uh, here are the two first nibs. Uh, the broad, and the, or rather, sorry, the fine and the medium. Nothing really showing through here at all. A couple of dots maybe from the medium, but not nothing really. And then down here you get some from the broad nib, but again, not a whole lot. Less than I kind of expect from a broad nib, a very broad nib with uh, this, kind of, uh, this kind of ink. So uh, there you go. It performs very, very well. Um, and also, I really like the color of this green. I think, especially here, I mean, just like where it, you know, I wrote Frank and Kristoff, I think it looks very nice in a broad nib. You get a little bit of shading there. Uh, this is done with a, uh, the fine nib, this little bit right here, because I wanted to write small. Uh, the rest of this is written with the uh, the medium. So you get a little bit of everything here, and I think it does really well. I think it looks really good in all the uh, the pens. It feels very smooth. It's not overly wet. When I say the flow is perfect, what I mean is it's neither wet nor dry. It's just like dead in the middle. It's right where you want it to be, uh, at least for all the pens that I tried it in, and that's, you know, several. So uh, let's see. Here we have some uh, some color swatches. Some different color comparisons. Franklin Green, of course, at the top. Another Franklin, uh, which is the Emerald 357. Man, I keep this in a pen because I like it so much. But uh, the Franklin Green is a, definitely a much darker green. It kind of leans toward, um, I don't know, sort of teal, I suppose. Uh, Emerald 357 is a bright emeraldy green. Then there's Pelican Aventurine, which I haven't reviewed yet, but I will be soon. It's very cool. It's a step lighter than the 357, I think. And then uh, Ackerman Number 24, which is uh, Zyder Park Blue Gru. Uh, Blau Gru? Blau Gru. Uh, which is a blue green, and then Yamadori right underneath that, which is the copper pheasant. It's kind of got that tarnished coppery look to it. Anyway, a few greens and green ishes for that. Let's uh, take a look at the water test. Give that a shot. All right, get some water here. That'll be enough. Yep, that'll do it. All right. 
So immediately you can see some of it swirling away. Uh, there's no advertised water resistance on this ink, of course. Uh, and by the way, if you want to get your hands on it, I would probably keep an eye on the Franklin Kristoff, uh, both the ink cellar and the stock room. You never really know what's going to go up in those areas, but uh, it might be some of this ink. You never know, unless they've decided to just... Or maybe, hell, maybe I got the last bottle, or I don't know. But you know, there's not much left. There we go. Let's mop this up. And, come on, there we go. Uh, yeah, no real water resistance here. I mean, you can still see the dots and such, but it's real faint. I think if I left it on there for any longer, or if I wiped it away more aggressively, let's give it a few more little wipes here. Yeah, not really water resistant, so that's one drawback for this ink. If you really want a water resistant green, this isn't the one for you. There are a few water resistant greens. Uh, one of my favorites is Noodler's Hunter Green. That's pretty good, uh, but also kind of hard to find. You don't see it very often. All right, let's back this out a little bit. Uh, here is the chromatography for this ink. All right, over there. Oh, let me flip it over. There you go. You can see the name. Uh, so that's the chromatography. Here, where I uh, started it out, there's not really anything there. There's a little bit of a green smudge, I suppose. But you can see most of it's up here at the top. And it turns a very cool green up here at the top, actually. A little bit different from the green you get the final product. But um, it does kind of look... Uh, it looks a little bit like uh, Yamadori, actually. Let's go ahead and get those side by side. Yeah, a little bit Yamadori-ish. Anyway, uh, it's very cool green. I definitely recommend it. And uh, just as an extra little funsy, let's see. Right, there we go. Uh, somebody in the in a past post said, hey, can I get more writing samples? And I said, yeah, okay, we can try that. So I'm going to try that. Maybe my tripod will fall over. We'll see what will happen here. Writing around a tripod is a skill that I don't really have. Let's see, I need to weigh this down or something. How about now? Yep. All right, this will do. Ah, goodness. There, okay. So let's write this. It's not gonna be my best handwriting. It's a bit of an angle, but you know, what are you gonna do? All right, so this is Franklin Kristoff. Franklin Green. This is the broad nib. And uh, a little bit of a skip there, but I'm going to blame that on the nib, actually. Uh, this, is a, this is a brand new nib that I've had in here, and so I haven't used it much. And I think it might need a little bit of adjustment. Maybe it's like a little bit far off to the side or uh, something. But it's not quite as good as the medium nib. And with these pens, no problems at all. Make sure I'm still in the frame here. Oh, hope you could have seen that. I guess we'll see what happens. All right, so here we go. This is Franklin Kristoff, Franklin Green. And a fine nib. Oh. Yep, there you go. All right. Okay, that's enough of this writing experiment. We'll see how it goes. If you like this whole writing sample thing, uh, let me know. If you don't, that's okay too. Go ahead and let me know that and I'll cut it out. But, you know, that's that. All right. So let's move this back over here in the frame. Voila. There's these things. So this has been Franklin Kristoff's Franklin Green, of course. I am Mike. This is Ink Dependence. And if you would like to uh, get your hands on this, you're going to have to talk to Franklin Kristoff. Uh, hopefully they'll put some up in the stock room if there is any left. Or maybe somebody will sell it on the aftermarket. You never know. Uh, but uh, definitely an ink worth getting your hands on, I think. Um, and if you want to know how to support this here blog and keep me blogging uh, for free with no ads and all this sort of jazz, please go to www.patreon.com slash inkdependence to find out how you too can help support the blog. I'll give you a hint. It is through cash money donations. Yes, cash is the thing that makes this blog keep going. I have to pay for web space and, uh, you know, pens and inks and all that kind of jazz. So if you want to help me out, that would be awesome of you. If not, that's cool too. But thanks very much for all my, pat my patrons. And a couple of people on the Patreon uh, site have uh, Patreon site have upped their patronage recently, and that is awesome. So thanks a huge amount. Every little dollar counts. But hey, if you got a million dollars, I ain't gonna tell you how to spend it. You can give it to me. Anyway, that's it. I'm Mike. This is Ink Dependence. This is Franklin Kristoff's Franklin Green. Go to franklin-kristoff.com to find their site and all their beautiful, beautiful pens and amazing inks.